How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this quick RPG developer bot and tutorial, I'll show you how to add a custom splash screen to the beginning of your deployed project. This is what the default one looks like. You can see the splash screen here. And this is a custom one that I made, it is our new splash screen. Plays for three seconds and it goes in. So the first thing you wanna do if you wanna add a custom splash screen is to figure out what art you wanna display at the beginning of the game. Once you've picked your image that you wanna use, we need to add it to the project by clicking on resources. It needs to be added as a sprite. So under 2D stamps, we're gonna click on sprites and then we're going to click on add. You can optionally add a custom folder like I have done here. I added a folder and I literally called it custom. And then inside that folder, I've added a logo, Driftwood logo one. And you can manipulate this and change this here or in other image editing softwares. So there's a whole lot you can do, but we're gonna keep it simple here. Once it's added to your resources, you can click on the layout tool and we're going to click on system. And then we're gonna click on startup logo. From the beginning, you're gonna see that it's just this red readable only layout. And in order to make a modifiable one, you simply copy this, right click in here and paste it, and it will create logo one. You can rename it and then you just click on this box right here. Once it's checked, it will use this one instead of the default. And then from here, you'll see on the right hand side that you have the option to play background music, play a sound effect that happens and change how long the splash screen displays. I've changed it from one second to three seconds. Clicking on this little folder icon will show you that it has elements inside of this folder. The only element that exists here is the logo itself. And what I've done here is change the sprite set by clicking here and selected the custom sprite that we added under image and textures to this one. And then it adds it in here. It highlights in red and the red just displays the range of where it's rendering. So it will display normally without this red highlight. If you want to blend it, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can change the color but leaving it white will display it as the original image shows. Basically, that's it. If you test play your game, it doesn't show the splash screen. I kind of wish it did, because that would save you from deploying it. If you want to see if it worked or not, you're going to need to click on File, Utilities, and you're going to need to export the project and run it in order to see the changes. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, favorite, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come hang out with us on Discord. That's where we're chilling. Love you guys very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.